welcome to a brand new speed wheel. Today I have a starter home for you guys and it's pack restricted. I know, who is she? I'm not, I don't think I'm Mal today. I really don't. I think I'm somebody else. Um, but um, I built this a while ago. Um, like I built this in, I think May or mm, either May or um, April, but I think it was May. I'm not c completely sure, but I think it was May. Um, anyways, and I really wanted to build a starter home um, and I had this picture in mind. So I saw this trick I'm doing with the half walls and putting a roof on there. I think I saw it from, let me see if I get this right, Supax Fake Life. I think, is that what she's called? Wait, look, let me just look that up. Yes, that is what she's called. And I really hope I pronounced that right. I'm so sorry if I did. And also like how I said, wait, like you will go anywhere because this is edited, so you won't have gone anywhere. Anyway, um, yeah, so I saw this trick she did and it's a little bit tricky sometimes because the roof disappears at times. So um, just be aware if you do that as well. But I wanted to give her credit because I saw her do that. I'm not sure where she got it from. If she got it from like, if she, did it herself or if she got it from someone else I'm not completely sure but I saw her do it in some video um a while back because you know I built this while back and I really wanted something like that so um that's like this is what I came up with and I really like it I think it might it, it does look simple I mean it is a base game home so it does look very simple but I think it's still a pretty good base game it's not a base game home I'm so sorry it's a starter home I'm so sorry it's not a base game um but I think it's a pretty good starter home um but um yeah I think I also should mention that this is a family starter home so it costs 20,495 so with a starter budget you won't be able to have this like if you just one sim because um it's over 20,000 plus like the lot expense or whatever but if you are two sims or more <laughs> you will be able to live here with some extra money over um and i guess you could just like move in here after like collecting some stuff i guess so like you will be able to move in here very quickly um so it's i made it f so there's um like a parent's bedroom and a kid's bedroom so you will be able to have three sims here obviously you can expand that if you want to but that's just what i have now and this will go into my save file so um, if you decide to have my save file whenever that's out, which won't be anytime soon, um, <laughs> you can, of course, um, move in here pretty quickly, I guess. I just want to say so sorry. I'm so sorry if you can hear anyone, um, because I think there were some people outside my door. Plus my cat is in my room. She's really stubborn. She won't leave my room right now. Um, so I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, um, that was really rude because there were people outside my room, which, um, normally does not happen when I'm doing voiceovers, but I'm doing this like late at night, like the day before this going up. So I am so sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, so this, like I said before, this is packed restricted, um, and it only has island living, jungle adventure, tiny living um and i'm so sorry for this but country kitchen kit the only things i use from the country kitchen kit is the wallpaper on like the um front part ish from of the house um as well as like the little flower thing uh, in the kitchen i think i used it in i my cat is currently doing something in my room i'm so sorry anyway um this is gonna be chaotic <laughs> i am so sorry um but anyway so i use things from those packs um i did do this before the um oasis courtyard pack or kit came out so um i feel like if i would have used any kit it would have been that one but uh, no i decided for no reason at all to use um the country kitchen kit but my plan for it was to use like one um expansion pack one game pack and one uh stuff pack and then the kit just came there or like just came out of nowhere i guess uh, anyway i don't really know um but um yeah, I don't know. I really hope you guys like how this turned out. I think I was able to fit a lot of stuff in um, and make it like look pretty decent, especially with it being uh, pack restricted because the last uh, starter home I did, which basically was the first starter home I did, um, I used a lot of eco lifestyle because eco lifestyles um, like items are very, in, like very, very cheap. Um, so when you're doing like um, starter homes, it's very easy to like use things from those pa from that pack. Um, but for this one, I decided to not use that pack because um, I didn't really think it fitted with the whole like Oasis vibe. So um, I don't know. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'm trying to do more like starter homes and pack restricted homes or whatever. So if you have any special packs that you want me to use, like just those, uh, please let me know. Um, I have done one where I just used 
Cats and Dogs and Seasons by a request from one of you guys. So I do listen to you guys. <laughs> I do read all the comments and everything. Um, so if you have anything like that you want me to do, especially uh, for just let me know and I will try to do it. Um, and if there is a special type of starter home you want to see, let me know as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I actually will see here in the beginning it is not pack restricted because I decided kind of I think midway through um, or like after I had basically finished the entire interior that I decided that I wanted to have it pack restricted because then I can kind of look like what items have I used. So I do remove some items and like change some items out. So you will we'll see that right now it is not pack restricted. Like I have the bed from um, I think City Living or whatever and some other items as well from other packs. So I do take those away and um, switch things up to have it as, um, as a pack restricted build. So Hopefully you guys like it, um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It is in the neighborhood of um, Oasis Springs where Johnny Sest lives, so if you know where he lives, this is the same neighborhood and it's on a 20 by 15 lot, I think, um, and it has more of a front yard than a backyard, and I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't go off of a reference picture, I'm pretty sure I just had this in my mind for some reason, but again, it's been a while, so if you see this on Pinterest somewhere, not this exact house, because if someone posted this on Pinterest and take credit, like, report them, please. Um, same on the gallery, if you see anyone, like, repost my bills, please, 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 please report them for, um, I don't know what it's called. But something, it, there, there's something. Anyway, um, but um, if you see something, a house uh, similar to this on Pinterest, like a reference picture or something like that, um, I might have used that one. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I didn't, but I don't know, maybe. Um, and I tried my best to not make this house look empty because I know that's what happens a lot when you do like starter homes. Um, so I tried to not have it like that. Um, but yeah, we're almost done with this video. It was a very quick one. Um, so you're getting an extra video this week because I have taken away the Wednesday video from my video schedule. So I usually or am supposed to only upload on Sundays, but I kind of changed that up um, as I go. But um, there's always going to be a video on Sundays. If I don't say different, follow me on Twitter and Instagram to uh, get updates on that. But um, yeah, so this is kind of an extra video. It's kind of short, so I thought it was okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I really hope you guys like this. And again, let me know if there's any specific packs you want me to use or anything like that. And um, yeah, let me know also what like I could do better maybe with this house or whatever. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!